Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22. Yes, indeed, here it is. Uh, this is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 on my Fox Farm test map, and this is the Ultimate Mowing and Bailing Pack by Mac Trucker 921. 59.59 megabytes to download, and in this video, we are going to consider all nine pieces of this uh, pack. We're gonna go through them one at a time individually and then at the end we're gonna show you some combinations um, that this pack has made possible now uh, more uh, now that we never had before. <clears throat> so we have a lineup here. We also have a trailer which is uh, we'll talk about the trailer. This is the auto load trailer also by Mac Trucker 921. It's about it's the only one that will hook up to um, the balers actually. So um, and there are a couple of issues that I also have discovered with this pack. Now um, we're going to go through them briefly here right off the bat and tell you the slot counts and then we'll start with the mowers. So Starting with the mowers, we have two mowers, a front and a rear attached mower, five slots, 11 slots. We have a square baler. We have two of them actually. Uh, we'll talk about that. They are 15 slots each. We have a round baler. We have two round balers as well. They look exactly like this, except they do something a little bit different. We'll talk about that. 10 slots each. We have a wind rower. The Rin Rower is eight slots. We have a Tether. The Tether is six uh, slots. And we have a Bale Wrapper. The wrapper will wrap both round and square bales. And that is also six slots. As I said, the trailers we'll talk about a little bit later when we are um, wrapping up and, and, and talking about combinations and how these items can work for you in the field. Right oh, so we're gonna cut away. I'm gonna set up the mower pack and we'll talk about the mowers first. All right, so here we are. We're here we are with the mower, and as you can see, there are some interesting color combinations. We'll show you all those. So where do we find it? We'll find this one, tools and mowers. And here we are. So it's a modded version of the uh Cavernland um uh, mower or well anyways it's well let's take a look at them shall we so we can have either either the Converlin or the Vicon as a brand uh, 3.2 meters wide 18 mile per hour working speed requires 82 miles per uh, 82 horsepower $21,000 now colors we have a multitude of very interesting and diverse colors of all kinds to choose from. And uh, even, let's see, we got a Kubota orange if you if you want. And uh, the skirt color can be anything you want, even gold, yes. Even a gold color or standard uh, game colors. Uh, $200 for that and uh, 750 for the top color to change that. Right, so that's the front piece. Uh, the back mower is uh, 10.2 meters wide, 240 horsepower required. Also, you can have the Cavernland. Oh, just a con oh design, Cavernland or Vicon, yes. Uh, work mode, you can have the uh, uh, the ability to um, put it in a um, a swath or or not um, for the purpose of this test today the swathing um, aspect of this is actually very um, very helpful uh, main colors again main color will be the top color or the color of the top uh, we can make that yellow and the skirt color can be as We've seen any any one of these colors, even chrome or, yeah, so craziness there. And chassis color, again, any one of the colors, the chassis is that. Right. Um, yeah. So, 
They come like so. You 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 drive up to them and press the button. Press the button when it there we go and it connects. L1 and X unfolds it. That's the front mower and L1 and circle. So it's just like a just like standard mower setup really. Nothing different there also although wait a minute I forgot something something very important yes <laughs> missed that almost rear hitch now this is important for later uh, there is a rear hitch option for the rear mower we have no rear hitch which I have right now apparently uh, we have a low ball hitch a low pin hitch or a three-point link so yes or high ball high yeah so you can go low low or high with the pin hitch or ball hitch three-point link or a high so that's something uh we just don't have i don't think yeah right so again with the rear mower l1 and x unfolds it like so And L1 and circle lowers it. Now, before I start it up, we do have uh, R1 and where is it? Where is it? Uh, toggle map. No. Uh, select work mode wide spreading. There we go. Um, there we go. R1 and L3. I knew it was there. So we have swath dropping which will drop a swath down the middle we have left swath right swath or nothing so we're going to pick the swath dropping and we're going to turn it on and turn our front one on and we're going to drive forward and as you can see once we get out of the uh, mode or the grass that we had on there that's what it'll do so very nice uh, very efficient and I have tested um, all of these actually beforehand quite a bit. So um, the worker, no problems with the worker with this. Um, I'm using a really high horsepower mo uh, tractor, but it will work with lower horsepower tractors. And as you can see, the turnaround here, pretty standard stuff. I didn't encounter any problems with the mower at all and as you can see here we're just gonna let him go a little bit right and there you go so I'm just gonna stop him here so that's the mower part so uh, we're gonna move on I do believe uh, we're gonna move on to the next piece of equipment all right so the next item we're gonna look at, at is the square baler and we get, as I said, we get two of them, and I have two of them, one of each here, ready to demonstrate. So let's first look at it in the store. We'll find it under tools and balers. And here they are, the case, uh, this one is the LB436 uh, HD Extra Capacity H, or RH, at 159.5. 230 horsepower. Uh, it will make 180 to 244 centimeter bales at 15 miles per hour. If we look at the next one, really the only difference is this one produces liftable bales. So that's, uh, well, in the store, that's the only difference. And uh, all the um, configurations are exactly the same. It says this one will not produce it will produce the I'm gonna say regular it's 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 still not regular but non liftable bales shall we say and this one will produce liftable bales as in liftable by hand so let's take a look at our options we have wheel brands of Trelleborg Michelin BKT Vertistein and Trelleborg you can't change anything inside of those choices so they are what they are rear hitch we have standard, which is nothing. We have, yes, yes, we have a ball hitch. We have also a pin hitch, and we have a three-point link hitch. So all of those are now available, whichever one you choose. 
And uh, if you buy the one with the pin hitch and you want to change it, just take it to a repair area or a maintenance uh, spot and it will, you can change it in there, no problem. Main color, we have, of course, all the wonderful main colors available to us. Design color is going to change the color of the frame and the rim color, of course. Mm, gold or blue? Yeah, blue. Um, yes, the rim. So, as you can see, prices are listed there, down there, for the color change. Right, as I said, all the options here are exactly the same as this one. So, the only difference is this one will produce non-liftable bales. This one will produce liftable bales. Now, let's hop into this one first. This is the non-liftable bale because there are still a number of things you need to know about this. First off, if you have a hitch attached, L1 and X, when you unfold it, the hitch is supposed to extend and move over to the side. Well, that's wonderful because Typically, you're going to uh, tow a trailer or a, a auto load trailer or a bale wrapper behind this, as we will show um, later, and you want that to the side. Yes, right. Okay, so that is settled. We have R1, L1, turn it on, lower pickup, etc., etc. R1. We have all the thing, and then bale size. Change bale size. Now here where um, you need to know something, because this is, um, it is uh, with the adjustable density or high density. And what that means is when you go into R1 and you change the bale size, you notice it's 240. If I press it again, it's 182. Well, that would still, so what that means, it's a 180 centimeter bale, but it's twice the, the size. Okay. And then we have a 222, which is a 220, which is twice the, sorry, twice the capacity, but the same size. Uh, 242, again, we have 183. Now that's three times the capacity uh, per, per one bale. 223, 243, so it's a 240 centimeter bale, three times the capacity, and it up to four. So if we take the two, 244, let's turn it on, lower our, uh, there we go, lower it, and as we go forward and pick up grass at 16 miles per hour, yes, pretty quick. Notice the, uh, the bale is filling up, but it is half full now at 14,000 liters and so as we approach the uh, bale being full let's shut that off and uh, eject uh, unload the baler there we go let's unload that bale and if we take a look at it let's get our field info on 26,000 liter uh, grass bale, yes. So it's a 240 centimeter size, but it has been compressed into 26,000 liters. So you can change that. If you just want the normal size, like the 180 centimeter bale, um, I think it's going to Yeah, so I've already started the, the next bale with that, the last size. So you have to clear the, we're going to finish this one again at 26,000 liters. And then now you can see it's filling up super rapidly. And there it is. So let's turn that off and eject both. So we've had this option on um, another mod so I do believe it's a collaboration I can't remember the mod so here we go 5,000 liters that's a hundred a standard 180 uh, liter uh, or 180 centimeter bale for capacity and this is as you can see 26,000 liters so
My suggestion is if you're using an auto load trailer, you pick which bale you want and you stay with, stay with that through the whole field because uh, auto load balers don't like picking up different sizes and different things. So we're, we're gonna talk about that uh, a little bit more, uh, but I just wanted to show you that. So the other baler here also has that feature except it um, makes liftable bales. And this is uh, this particular, for some reason, this baler has a problem of which I will demonstrate right away. As you can see here, um, the hitch is always already extended. And if we jump in, and unlike the other one, when I go L1 and unfold the baler, the hitch does not move over to the side. So now if you are trying to use a bale wrapper or a, a auto load trailer, uh, this is not going to work, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah. Right, so let's uh, pick our bale size. Again, we can go through the 240. It starts at 240, so we get a 180, 220, 240. So the same, same standard size. Then 182, then the 3, and the 4 times, right? So let's just stick with the regular 180 size a centimeter size bale. We turn it on, we put it down, and we go forward as usual. And so it works just like a regular ba baler in uh, in all respects, except that it's going faster, of course, and it's supposed to make liftable bales. Now, oddly enough, and as you can see, the hitch there is not causing any problems at the moment. It's just kind of sliding off. But if you had something attached there, it's going to cause all kinds of problems. And see, this is the problem I had before. Um, this is not liftable. Um, neither is this or this. And I'm wondering... 180, 220, 240, one, oh, okay, so we have two ki two choices. We can have the non-liftable. All right, I think I see where I went wrong. Let's continue forward. Right, so what they've done here, I see what they've done here. Uh, 850 still. What's this one? Have we gotten to it yet? Ah, yes. So here we go. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. Right. Okay, so I know what's going on here. If you... I was very confused at first, and I think I've discovered... I mean, As I said, I've been testing this quite a lot. This one's 815, so it's... Kilograms, that is. 5,000 liters of grass, right? This is 5,000 liters of grass, 100 kilograms. So what, what happened here is this baler produces both. So let's go through that again. So we're at the liftable 180, 220, 240, 182, 234. Now, as we cross this 220 centimeter four times um, the amount bale, 240 centimeter yes four times there we go 180 so this 180 the first round of 180 220 and 240 are not liftable once again if you hit it again it's 180 but then we go into the liftable bales 180 220 240 182 so let's let's make uh, so this last one was going to be uh, one of the previous before I changed it. This one should be uh, This one should be double double the capacity. Yes, 10,000 liters 5,000 right so we changed it up, but it's still liftable so It's quite a lot going on here, but if you stick to that knowing that there's the first uh, standard size bales are not liftable and then everything thereafter is liftable 
I think you will um, you will be able to um, <laughs> figure it out. Uh, we have beacons. There we go. I didn't show any of that yet. And lights, signals. Yeah, all that bits works. Um, right, so that that's the square baler. Um, that could have been a video all by itself. Okay, so uh, we're going to move on to the next piece of equipment. All right, so we're moving on to the round balers. And uh, these are equally as interesting. Uh, however, they are uh, round balers, and uh, they do act very much like your standard round baler in many ways. But uh, let's have a look at them. Uh, oh, you can also find all of these items if you look in your mods and DLCs. And here they all are in a row. And this is actually the um, order in which we are doing these. So the mower can find mowers, the balers in the balers, etc., etc. But anyways, we're looking at the uh, Roland Kloss Roland 455RC Uniwrap Extra Capacity and we have the liftable. So again, same idea here. We have a non-liftable and a liftable version of these two uh, balers, which are actually exactly the same as each other, except one makes liftable and one does not. All right. Wheel brands, Trailborg, Michelin, BKT, Vertistein. And again, uh, these are all just as they are, no, uh, no choice within those brands we have a rear hitch as well we have no we have a rear hitch uh ball pin or no so ball pin no there is no three point just a ball or a pin and it's already set off to the left side already so uh no problems there foil color which is interesting we have all of these colors for the foil color so a plethora of uh, that's kind of a boring color let's make it something interesting um this color yes uh main color again all the the colors you could want uh we could even make it a bronze color shiny bronze uh design color let's make that kubota orange why not and that's the uh class emblem no let's make it i don't know gray no eh, i don't know yellow sure um rim color again uh whatever rim color uh so prices are as you can see foil color prices can is that yeah no charge for any of the changing the foil color prices right uh and again as i said uh exactly all the same options for the liftable bail baler right so this is as i would say the non-liftable shall we say all right let's get in start up we have uh also yes automatic drop or on or off so it's now on uh turn on baler lower pickup now here we got the 125 so this is supposed to be high density. So let's look at the uh, uh, 134. I, be I believe that's uh, four times. Well, let's start it up and lower it down. Um, it's a little bit... <laughs> the sizing is a... Uh, a little tricky to figure out but as you can see we'll we'll do that we'll have the 130 so it's a 130 centimeter times four i'm going to guess i did not do a uh all right so it's supposed to automatically unload oh yes oh yes now i remember uh, this one doesn't work <laughs> It won't spit out the bale. Yes. Um, right. Uh, yes. Um, so, unfortunately, the non-liftable bale, round baler, is, uh, is broken. Unfortunately, uh, it will not spit out the bales, even though I turn it off, unload. Oh, there we go. Now it's going. Why do I have to... 
turn it off to unload it. Okay, so it's supposed to automatically spit out, obviously. <sighs> it does take a while for it to wrap, and it is not a fast bail, so you have to stop and wait for... Oh, come on. Oh, yes. That's where the automatic drop is when it's done wrapping. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit not great. 14,000 liters, and it's not liftable, right? Okay, good. We see it's 620 kilograms. Okay, let's try that once more because going along, uh, once it fills up, it should... Now it's not even filling up. Right, so it's 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 really it's broken. Uh, close back. Oh, that's why the back was open. Right. Okay. All right. Let's try it once more. Um, yeah. Apologies for this. I've been fighting with these balers for some time. Right. So let's let's get one more bale in there and see if it'll actually spit it out as it should. And I'm not, I'm not hopeful. Right, so it should automatically spit it out into the wrapper area, and it's, it's, it's not. I have to, I have to manually spit it out. There we go, and then close, close, close the lid. Oh, it's not going to let me. It's not going to let me close the lid until the yeah it's 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 definitely not working properly right all right let's um <clears throat> let's jump into the liftable one because that one actually was working uh, if i recall right now we have the same options no we have different options for bale size this one we have 32, 33, 34, 25, 132, 133, 134, and 125. The 125 is five times the 120. 132 is twice the size uh, or twice the capacity of the 133 and 134. So let's run with the 134. And uh, let's go with uh, automatic drop on. Driving forward, and it should spit it out as soon as it gets full. And there it is. So that's how it's supposed to work. It automatically spits it out, and then it'll wrap it. Now I have the chrome wrap on this one. Is it actually going to wrap it? No. So even though I picked the chrome wrap, um, it's not giving me, uh, it's very disappointedly, it's just say, giving me a, a white, <laughs> a white bale. However, 14,000 liters of grass and I can lift it. Right. So that one, as you can see, works properly. Unfortunately, the other one does not right okay so that now that we know that uh, uh we'll move on to the i do believe it is the uh windrower all right the next piece of equipment we're going to test out is the windrower and as uh it's a kubota uh, but for the color you can see here uh it's not obviously a kubota unless you're looking at the words now where do we find it tools windrowers here it is, the Kubota RA 2076 RH, $19,500. Uh, 80 horsepower required, 8.4 meters, 18 miles per hour, so very quick as well. We have an option of a rear hitch, yes. We have a rear hitch with a ball and a PTO shaft, pin, or three-point links. So all three available, depending on what you really want to do with it, or none. If you just want to use it as a wind rower, that's also available for you. Main color, again, all the wonderful colors. 
frame color is going to be white as I show here so the rakes and all the other bits and rim color is a reduced palette of colors oddly enough doesn't give you all the colors but anyways it is what it is uh, the paints gonna cost you a bit right so let's hop in uh, L1 and X unfolds it like so and everything kind of goes like that uh, now we have uh, we don't have any oh what's this <laughs> I think that's uh, yeah no turn on wind rower yeah it's it's quite simply just a wind rower I don't know what that does I think it's part hmm all right L1 and circle lowers the wind rower and L1 and square turns it on and it will wind row at 18 miles per hour and a worker will do it like so um, now uh, there is or used to be a trick with these does it still work no you cannot uh, you cannot old school fast farm with it whereas you do uh, fold it uh, press X quickly to fold uh, but that doesn't work with uh, I don't think it works anymore actually uh, but here you go that is the wind rower uh, very simply put uh, it's your standard um, Kubota wind rower but with the PTO and your hitch options at the back so the next thing we're gonna look at is the tether Alright, so here we are. This is the wind rower that comes in this pack and that will be found under found under tools. Sorry, the tether. Tools and tethers. My goodness. The Kubota TE 6060RH, $7,000. 30, only 30 horsepower required, 4.4 meters. Working width at uh, also at 18 miles per hour, which is twice the speed of these other tethers. It is a three-point link attachment and we also have a rear hitch option with ball pin or three point and the pto extension main color you can choose any of these the frame color is going to be that we have trim color we're going to make that white and then rim color we have to make something pink like so and prices for the color changes as uh, displayed there all right so you get it like that you back up to it with a uh, appropriately horsepower rated tractor and it comes like that l1 and x unfolds it and then uh, l1 and circle and l1 and square and you drive forward and it does the old um, tedding thing as you can see it's it's quite uh, of a quite narrow of a tether uh, it is particularly uh, suited for tedding windrows that's actually how it kind of all fits in here um, so that's kind of the idea I think why it's such a small one because it's uh, designed to be uh, well it's actually designed to work in conjunction with uh, the other pieces of equipment as we will show at the end of the video however uh, you can still hire a worker as I just did and let him go along his merry way uh, doing this uh, back and forth so there you have it there that as well is the tether uh, from this pack now uh, we have one more mod to look at before we start hooking these things all together uh, and let's go over and see that all right so the last piece of equipment that we're going to well the last piece of equipment in this pack that we're going to look at is the uh, uh, the bale wrapper <clears throat> and you'll find it under bale wrappers here it is at the end the, the KUHN SW 
4014RH, $54,000 to purchase. It will do round or square bales of any size or type, as we will demonstrate. Uh, so square and round bales, uh, grass or hay, actually. And we have also a rear hitch option, no ball or pin, uh, no three points. So that there, foil color, Again, we have all of these different colors here. We don't have a chrome. Oh, there it is. There is a, a white metal of which it did not work uh, for me, but we can try it a few different colors, actually. Main color, we, uh, we can make it any of those colors. That's the main color there. And then rim color. So those are our color choices. Right, so I have chosen a green, yellow, and a orange wrap and as you can see this is a non-liftable bale right so if we get in uh, fold it let's fold it up and, and show you how we get it when we get it at the store so this is how it is it's folded up like so when you hook it up it's a two-point hook or two-point uh, hitch L1 and X unfolds it like this and that hitch swings out so that uh, it's not directly behind and in the way and as we drive towards this bale here it will pick it up and wrap it like so very nice um, not super fast but it is not super slow either all right so let's let's get uh let's get our, a little handy dandy toolbox here if you're wondering what the toolbox is this is a a portable toolbox by schultz modding and if i remember i'll put it in the uh, link in the description now what we can do here is let's go over to this and customize this and foil color let's try a uh, chrome kind of yellowish color and see if that works there's a like a green I guess it's more of a chrome green let's see what it does with that and oh so it doesn't like the chrome colors on the bales that's quite obvious actually so We'll just continue with that. Just so you know that it's going to go with a um, pastel, shall we say, version of uh, of the bales, so or of the color. Right. So this we have um, another bale, which is of course not liftable. Um, not liftable. Let's go find a liftable bale because most baler or bale wrappers and so forth and so on they don't do everything uh let's see here this here we go here's a liftable bale now if this was any other normal bale wrapper it would have wrapped the non-liftable but when it would have come to one of these it would have said nope can't do it but this one no problem it will wrap that one too it wraps anything it just does not matter uh if it's liftable not liftable um, a, a, a odd size it's high capacity whatever it is it will work so what that means is even if you're using a different baler from another mod or whatever I would suspect that this bale wrapper will actually wrap anything because we have liftable bales and we have non-liftable bales and it's just wrapping everything now i don't have any round bales for it to wrap right now because the round baler that we have with this pack wraps already wraps it as you can see as you can see we have wrapped it 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 wraps there they're a bale wrapping round baler so i suppose i could go grab a um a base game round baler but all right i guess i have to just to make sure it does hold on all right so here we go i got a pottinger round baler 
and made some round grass bales. Uh, grass harvest said yes, non-liftable. Because I just had to try it. Um, because, well, someone's going to try it. And then they're going to say, it. Uh, well, it doesn't work if it doesn't work. So we must test it on a regular bale. And there we go. Yes, it will work on a regular. At least that's a base game round baler. So it does round bales as well. I don't. It doesn't have a. Didn't have a choice of what size. Just the standard size. I don't have um, a baler, a liftable. I don't have a mod that does a different brand or a different mod of liftable bales. Uh, it may or may not work with it. I don't know. Um, I'm really just concentrating on this particular pack by itself altogether. All right. So now that we've seen and tested all the balers, some of them, uh, the baler, two of the balers don't work, um, at least not practically. One doesn't hardly work at all. And one has the issue with the not the uh this one the it, the the hitch does not kick over to the left that's a big problem when you're going to do what i'm going to do next is i'm going to show you how to hook these all together and then have a worker do it all for you so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the grass with the mower we're going to ted the grass with the tedder we're going to windrow the grass back up into a windrow and then behind that we're going to tow a uh, baler probably this one with non-liftable bales because that's the one uh that's the one that has oh which one this one here this baler here because it kicks over and what we're going to do is we're going to hook up an auto load uh, bale wagon behind this and pick them up as we go all in one go so and i'm going to show you um how i hook them together uh, i'm not going to show you i'm, I'm going to show you the process of how i connect them all together so that's what we're going to do next all right so here we are this is our contraption that we are going to link all together and i will show you how i do it anyways and um, it's going to be a bit of a process. Now, now what uh, what we're going to do is we got the mowers, of course. Then we have a tedder, windrower, baler, bale wrapper, and then a auto load trailer. This is going to be quite the process, as I said. And um, in order to make this process a little easier, I found uh, you can line them all up. It doesn't matter what kind of hitch you have on them. Um, if you if you decide what order, you place them in an order like this, and then you get out your handy dandy toolbox, which I'll buy another one just to just to plop it down here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this toolbox to each piece of equipment I have and take a look at it now this one it has a pin hitch so i'm going to need a pin hitch on the piece of equipment in front of it so this one looks like i probably have a ball hitch there so what i'm going to do is grab this place it over here and let's go in here and we have a ball hitch now let's change it to pin hitch there we go customize it yes okay so now we have a pin hitch. Excellent. So what kind of hitch do we have up here? Oh, that's a three-point link. All right, so let's grab this and move up to here. And let's go over to our baler. What does our baler? Let's go in here and change this to a three-point link. Bam. Customize. Yes, okay. And what do we got? Three-point link. Excellent. Right, moving up to the next piece of equipment. We have a ball hitch here so we're going to need a, a ball hitch up here we got a three-point link well that's got to change let's go in here ball hitch there we go bam bam okay so right moving on what do we have here we have a three-point link and we already got a three-point link there so that's great what do we got here 
three-point link as well. Do we have a three-point link on here? No, we don't. Let's get it set up then. There we go. That is the rear mower. Rear hitch, ball, low ball, low pin hitch, three-point link. There we go. That's the one we want. Customize it. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank you, Mr. Toolbox. That was a great help. Now, how are we going to hook these all together? Well, let's grab a different tractor. This one, for instance, and start from the back. So I've left myself enough room here to maneuver. Let's get in there. Let's do this and unfold it right away so that the hitch gets lined up where it should be. And let's back it up here. Oh, one thing I want to mention. The Mack Trucker Lizard Flatbed Auto Loading Square Bale Trailer is in trailers I will pin all the I will also um, pin this particular one there it is 30 foot flatbed a lot of loadings well so we have our choice so one I picked is this one the square bale trailer um, because we have square square bales we're gonna be making square bales this one has a uh, auto load square bale option that's the one you want it has a pin hitch however this trailer and the other Mac, Mac, nine, uh, Mac Trucker 921 trailer is the only trailers that I could get to attach to at least the baler. Um, so let's make sure this actually attaches here. Yes, we do. So I couldn't find any other trailers that attach to these connectors. So if you're wondering that's why I'm using that so let's unhook the bale wrapper and come up forward here and hook up our baler and so now we need to back this up and line it up with the oh yes there the there's steering wheels or the wheels steer on these balers so uh, let's see if I can get this a good camera angle here so it makes it difficult to reverse these things when it, the rear wheels steer. There we go. Now that's hooked up. Now make sure we go up to our baler and unhook that. And let's go up to our wind rower. Ooh, I didn't leave myself much space here. Let's move it over there a little bit. All right. And you get the idea. So we're backing this up. This has also got a steering we, uh, the wheels that steer at the back and it's making it hard to reverse straightly oh dear I do wish that was not that makes reversing I'm bad enough at reversing not to have the wheel steering oddly and there we go attached as you can see the PTO attaches through here uh, this these don't need PTOs right okay uh, moving on to the next one there we go detach that and actually this one is pretty easy we're going to let the mower because it's a three-point link let's uh, oh come on it unhooked <laughs> oh because I modified it there we go so there we go attach that and let's lower it oh does it yeah okay it's a little quirky but it still works uh, notice there we go attached uh, notice it's kind of a little bit yeah it's a little bit um, when we drop the mower oh, come on there's so many things attached there we go um, all right, so we got everything hooked up together. Um, as you can see here, it is quite the road train. And um, let's go off into the grass. I did actually test this with, um, but not with the uh, the auto load tray. I can't even scroll back up far enough to get it all in. Right, so. 
let's start this process now, shall we? Let's go to the front mower, turn it on, lower it, right, back motor, turn it, turn, turn, lower, it, turn it, turn it on. Come on, turn it on. Turn on mower. Oh, unfold. Yeah, I gotta unfold that. Turn that on. Okay, so that's on. Lower the wind rower. There we go. That's on. Go turn on the baler and lower it. Uh, that you don't have to lower that. Uh, unfold ramps. I don't have ramps. Uh, turn off automatic drop. We have to turn on the. Oh, I think it's on. All right, let's hire a worker and see what he does because. <laughs> All right, here we go. So it sucks up a lot of horsepower, as you can imagine. The mowers, the tedders, the ro the wind rowers, and so far so good. It's going to take a minute. And this is the uh, the high powered uh, tractor, 800 horsepower, and it's uh, it's having a little trouble pulling this all together. Uh, let's see what he does at the end here, because I'm very curious to see how he's going to maneuver turning around with all this stuff. Now, obviously, if you're doing this yourself, I'm concerned about not being able to um, set the uh, auto load trailer. It didn't. Oh, it's trying to back up. Oh, all right. So, yes, um, the bale wrapper will not wrap hay bales. So if you're going to do this remove the uh, tether and um, as a matter of fact you don't even need the wind rower because the mowers put it in a wind row already so you can kind of eliminate these two however if you do still want to make hay bales but not wrap them uh, then this setup will work here as i've shown here and all right finally ready for a bale to spit out we should see it spit out here Come on, Bale. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> there it is. And yes, all right, we have success. Uh, notice that the, uh, yeah, the tether tends to be a little bit, because it's a three-point link and you can't actually lower it, so it is a little bit touchy on the back there. But anyways... Uh, as shown, this is not the only setup, and as you can imagine, it does get quite, quite tricky getting everything to work properly together. But it is possible, and oh, that's why I got my ramps down. Hmm. Right. Um, so, anyways, uh, apologies for some of it. It's such a complex setup. I've been testing it for hours, and there's still things that are uh, kind of well shall we say goofy um so let's uh let's just let's just mo wander mosey on back down to the store here um and there we go um vehicle shop here and kind of go over briefly uh, what uh, we have here so we have the mower front and rear mower with uh various hitches that you can attach literally any of these items behind it while the wrapper would not be useful behind but tether a windrow or if you desire the round or square baler now as we sh if you remember the square one of the square balers uh, the hitch option did not move over when it unfolded so that was not good we had one of the round balers that was not actually working properly at all but the other one did the liftable bale one does 
The wind rower uh, works perfectly fine. The tether is a little bit of a quirkiness behind the mower, as we just showed. And the um, bale wrapper actually worked excellent. Will work on anything except, of course, hay bales. Um, and it won't wrap hay bales. So just grass bales only as probably shown in the icon when I looked at it at first, but I should have known that. So that is the ultimate mowing and baling pack. I know it took quite a while for this, but there is a plethora of um, equipment and so many different ways to attach them um, and link them all together or use them separately if you wish. I do thank you all for your ongoing support and your kind words. And I do hope this has helped you out uh, with uh, using this pack. It is an awesome, wonderful pack and uh, possibly could be used with many other mods in conjunction with other mods uh, as well. However, I just tested them with this one. Anyways, well, let's wrap it up. That's the un un ultimate mowing and baling pack by Mac Trucker 921 59.59 megabytes to download and slot counts from 15 all the way down to five slots each. Thank you all for watching. I'm Lily Farm Guy and remember it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.